Hello. Um, so I'll kick it off with the first question, which is why I want um, a job in this organisation. And there's a personal aspect to this because um, we have a bone condition that runs through the family and it's affected both me and my dad. So I'd like to help professional athletes who have similar sort of conditions recover and possibly overcome these sort of injuries and get back to performing at elite level straight away instead of, you know, ending their career short when they had so much potential. But besides uh, the personal aspect, there's, I genuinely think I'll be the perfect candidate because of the skills I provide. Um, I'll get into that later, but I feel like I'd have a massive positively impact positively impact the um organization and I admire the um the the, the work ethic within the organization and I feel like my values align with the organization's uh, values so it it's a perfect um perfect job lined up and um I've admired the um organization for a while but I I genuinely think I would have a very positive impacts um with providing as i said a number of skills like leadership skills um i'd be very flexible um and genuinely a lot a lot more but um i genuinely think i'd be able to uh, progress the organization not just by myself but help others within the team to progress as well um so the next question is how my knowledge um gained so far will be useful for this uh for this job and i, I studied sports science at university so obviously it's the same job and those that knowledge is already got already foundations for that knowledge already and I can just build on it very easily instead of relearning everything and it's yeah like I said it's the same discipline it's built on the same foundations and I have experience that no one else does considering going to Leeds Beckett because they have um, the best facilities and hands-on uh, lab experiments where no other university in the country has those so i already have a head start in that aspect with practicals and lab experiments so that gives me a bit of a advantage and um the standard at which the practicals are carried out are to the professional standard so i have experience with professionals that have been doing this <coughs> sorry professionals that have been doing this for a long time now so that would give me the edge over other candidates but um yeah um the next question is um how my experience gained so far would be useful for this um for this job because I've already had experience working in a work environment, not specifically a sporting environment, but I already know um, what it's like just to have a job in general. And it's, it's taught me to develop some, some skills and it's, it's taught me that some skills need developing more than others. Um, however, I still, I'm still unaware of which which skills, um, need further developing and which I am very competent with, but um. I, I I know which skills, would, to the experience I've had, I now know which skills, I need for this organization, and which are not as needed, but, would still. Um, would still like to develop. In your organization that is another reason why i would like the job just just help me develop my own skills but uh, to get on to skills um 
the next question is um, how my skills gained so far will be useful for the organisation. And I, ju I think that the most important skill is teamwork because I know already from my own research that a sports scientist works in a multidimensional team. So obviously teamwork's key and giving the best experience and most successful outcome for athletes and the team surrounding them, the sports scientists, which would be me. So developing teamwork, which I already have done through um, my experience working, um, doing my work, work experience. So I already have quite a lot of competence working with the team and it just makes it easier for everyone else. Um, Another key skill is leadership. I've gained that through taking groups um, around electrical sites, which and are responsible for the safety of other people. So, and safety is a big issue in there. So, obviously, you have to be switched on and take control of the situation. Um, another skill: problem solving. There's a lot of problems in sport, sport science. So. Obviously, I have to be um switched on, solve the problems as quick as possible because in in sport um you want to get the player out as quick as possible. Obviously, so the problem has to be solved quick. Um, also having having work experience has also taught me that organization is is a key is a key skill, especially especially when it's a complex job like sports scientist working with a lot of important data and numbers which links into data analysis i have experience with data analysis through the leeds beckett university dealing with um data management and data analysis software like excel and spss um which brought me on leaps and bounds with um data analysis i feel like i'm really competent with um presenting graphs and um, presenting information to the recipients at any level, which includes people I work with and athletes because they'll have a different level of understanding. So um, communication and presentation skills link there to that situation where I need to be careful my words and the information I I I choose to the way I describe things to um yeah colleagues and and athletes because they will be have they'll have a different level of um understanding, but also um uh, flexibility. I'm very flexible. Um, I'm. I can work any time. Um, as many shifts as possible, and um, yeah, I think I think the most important skill out of all those is definitely teamwork so yeah thank you